Hello, you are listening to Pankaj Rai and in this video we are going to discuss the 32nd horse problem of algebra. So let us begin. The problem says that a businessman bought some items for 600 rupees. Okay. And from these items, keeping 10 items for himself, he sold the remaining items at a profit of 5 per item. All right. From the amount received in this deal, he could buy 15 more items and we have to find the original price of each item. Let's say the original price of each item be rupees X. Now as he have bought the items for 600 rupees and each item is costing X rupees. So total number of items would be the total amount that is 600 divided by the amount of one item that is rupees x. So he have bought 600 by x number of items. Now out of these, he have kept 10 items for himself and he have sold the remaining items. So number of items sold is equal to 600 by x that is the original items minus 10 items which he have kept for himself. Now he is selling these items at a profit of 10 rupees. So selling price will be equal to the original price at which he is buying that is rupees x and a profit of 5. So selling price is x plus 5. So he is selling 600 by x minus 10 number of items at a price of x plus 5. So total amount which he will be getting will be equal to 600 by x minus 10 that is these many number of items and each item is being sold at x plus 5 rupees. So in the deal he is supposed to get this much amount. Now from this amount he is able to buy 15 more items. 15 more items that means okay how many items were he having initially he was having 600 by x so he is able to buy how many number of items now the number of items is equal to 600 by x plus 15 extra items and uh, obviously he is buying this at a rate of that is buying price is equal to rupees x. So he is buying 600 by x plus 15 number of items at a price of x rupees per each item. So he will be needing how much amount to buy this? He will be needing amount of 600 by x plus 15 that is number of items which he is buying and each item is being bought at rupees x. So he will be needing this much amount to buy 15 more items. And from where he is getting this much amount? He is getting this much amount from the deal which he have done earlier. So this amount is being used up here. So these two amounts are actually same. So let us equate these two amounts. So what we will be having is 600 by x minus 10 multiplied by x plus 5 is equal to 600 by x plus 15 multiplied by x. So let us cross multiply this x. So we will be having 600 minus 10x multiplied by x plus 5 the whole divided by this x will come down is equal to 600 plus 15x the whole divided by x and this x will remain as it is. Now these two x will get cancelled and let us multiply this x over to the right hand side. So on the left we will be left with 600 minus 10x multiplied by x plus 5 that will be equal to 600 plus 15x multiplied by this x over here. Now let us open the bracket on the left hand side. So that will be 600x plus 3000 minus 10x square minus 50x that will be equal to 
600x plus 15x square. Now, as you can see, these 600x are getting cancelled. And let us bring everything on the left hand side. So this is minus 10x square. And this on the left hand side will become minus 15x square. This is minus 50x and this is plus 3000. On the right hand side, we will be left with 0. Now this is minus 25x square minus 50x plus 3000 is equal to 0. Let us multiply throughout by minus. So it will be 25x square plus 50x minus 3000 is equal to 0. As you can see, we can divide throughout by 25. So this will become x square plus 2x minus now 3000 divided by 25 that will be 120 is equal to 0. Now as you can see this is a quadratic equation which we have to solve. So the quadratic equation is x square plus 2x minus 120 is equal to 0. Now the factors are very simple they are 12 and 10 so 12 times 10 is 120 and plus 12 minus 10 that will be 2. So it will be x square plus 12x minus 10x minus 120 equal to 0. We'll be having x common and we'll be having x plus 12 minus 10 common. Again x plus 12 is equal to 0. We'll be having this x plus 12 common and here we'll be having x minus 10 equal to 0. Now as you can see that the product of two terms is 0. So either the first term is 0 which is x plus 12 equal to 0 or the second term which is x minus 10 equal to 0. Now from here we will be getting x equal to minus 12 or we are getting x equal to 10. Now these are the two values of x which we are getting but what is x? x is the amount or the original price of each item. Now as you can know that the price of an item cannot be negative. So x is equal to 10. So each item costed rupees 10. So that is the original price of each item. Thank you very much.